so the paste special box allows us to paste anything any anything out of the copied object any part of it and paste it wherever we want and use it in a way we want to use it right friends we also have a shortcut for paste special now i'll use first the control why to redo it i'll bring this shortcut box here so that you guys can see this i'll use this table control shift a and i will delete it i'll say left it goes on the left side this format control shift 8 i'll if i press control shift side arrow down arrow because no data is there so what i can do is if i want some blank columns i'll just click on con control shift plus to get some blank columns here and now i'll go to this table go back to this table select it using ctrl shift 8 i have copied this table here using ctrl c command and now i'll show you using the paste special shortcut the shortcut for paste special is i can see my cursor it is ctrl alt and v if i press ctrl alt v this window opens up of the paste special feature and here if you see carefully every word here like if i want to paste formulas here f is underlined if i click f on the keyboard you'll see that formulas is selected values v is underlined if i click on values v values is selected for formats it is t if i click on t formats get selected so right now if i want to paste values i'll simply say values and enter and i can see all the values got pasted now if i want to do the format on the same area i will do ctrl alt v which is the shortcut of paste special then i'll click on t for formats and i'll say okay and you can see the format also got pasted on the same area so this is how we can do use paste special right paste special can be also can also be used to perform other different functions i will demonstrate it to you suppose these are the sale numbers and there are 10000 entries of these sales i'll show you the last entry you can see the row number is 10490 right so more than 10000 entries are there and all these entries are to be multiplied by 10 for some reason i want to multiply all the numbers by 10 so you can see what i can do here i just type 10 here i'll use control c to copy it now i will just select the area on which i want to paste using ctrl shift down arrow right now i'll press the shortcut ctrl alt v the shortcut for the paste special which i have written here ctrl alt v i pressed this shortcut and now i want to multiply by 10 so i'll just click on this multiply button here or m is underlined so i can press m on my keyboard this gets selected and see carefully 1447 will be converted to 14470 as soon as i say okay i click on okay and you'll see all the numbers got multiplied by 10 in one step using paste special feature i'll show you for divide also this is already copied now i'll press the shortcut control alt v and then for divide it is i so i press i on my keyboard divide gets selected say enter and everything got divided if i want to add i will again say control alt v and you can see d is the shortcut for add i press d on my keyboard and i say enter 10 got added everywhere so in this way we can use the paste special feature if we, if i want to add something if i want to multiply all the data if i want to add subtract do anything i can easily do it using the control alt v shortcut and the paste special feature friends now we will explore the <coughs> transpose feature in the paste special option right here suppose we have prepared a timetable for a school and we have given the period in a row right and the days are in a column but for some reason we want the days to come here and these periods to come in this particular column now if you want to do it it is going to take a lot of time if we do it manually but if you are using the transpose feature it can be done in a second let's see how i'll see ctrl c select this ctrl c to copy I'll keep my cursor where I want to paste it. Then I'll use the shortcut of paste special control alt V. It will open my paste special window. And now you can see the word transpose here. And if I click on E, which is the shortcut for transpose, you see transpose is selected. And if I say enter now, you can see the table got transposed. The first row period are now in this column. The column days in the column have moved to this row and the periods are arranged automatically. If you can see the Monday, first period is Hindi, first period is Hindi, second is English, seventh period is, period is maths. So the Monday timetable got can be seen here, which was earlier here. So from the row, the timetable has got converted to into a column in one single command. So if you want to transpose transpose any data you can use this command to convert your tables orientation in one step next thing which we will see 
in the pay special window is the skip blanks in the skip blank feature in the pay special what we can achieve is suppose we have got some sales number some data is there and then we have received some correction that instead of this thousand we need to have 1200 instead of this 1234 we need to have 2000 here we need to have 3000 so if this data is big data where we need to change this and replace in this original data we want to change this corrections now if you do it manually one by one it is going to take a lot of time but if you are using the pay special feature you will see how we can do this i've just selected this correction call copy it using control c and then i will select this data where i need to paste it i will select this i'll go to control alt v pay special window and here i have got something called skip blank and the shortcut for that is b so if i click on the b in my keyboard this is selected and if i say okay you'll see that this 1200 got added here this 2000 got added here 3000 got added here 2000 got added here so all the numbers which were to be corrected have been corrected in this main data in one step and we have been able to get the right numbers there in the data without any much effort so whenever this kind of correction is required you can use the skip blank feature and you can change your data accordingly so i hope friends you have learned all about the clipboard feature which we have covered now the various things you have seen here you need to practice it again and there are there are many things which we have uh, shown here so try to practice it and learn it and let's meet in the next session to cover the next group which is called the font group so thank you friends thank you for watching let's meet again thank you